What's, What's up, up you guys? guys? Welcome back to a new R&B fam. Well, not a vlog. It's more of a sit down. We're going to answer some juicy questions today. It's going to be a truth or shot. It's but be a We'll see how the video goes because we don't have alcohol right now. So it is what it is. We have beer though. So that's what we're going to be drinking. But before we get started, I do want to thank Sandbird for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know what Sandbird is, it is a monthly subscription fragrances. What I love about Sandbird, you guys, they give you a generous amount of your favorite perfume or cologne. And it is TSA approved, so you can go traveling with it. I actually always put one of these in my purse because it's portable and you always need a touch up. So this is the veil that it comes in and all you have to do is press it down. Mm, oh my god, I love this one. It smells so good. So this is it, and if you wanna, and if you wanna lock it, all you do is twist it like that, so it locks and it will not spray anywhere. Guys, also these little capsules that it comes in, it really keeps it from like shattering. Like say you have it in your, um, in your travel bag or anything, it literally protects it, so it's perfect just to have it on the go. And for this month, what I got, my fragrance of the month was F Mondays. Here's the cool thing with the pamphlet: it kind of shows you all the ingredients on the back. So you know, I like a little fruity scent for the summer. This one comes with citrus, apple. Um, clary sage, sandalwood, and skin musk. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, but it smells good. I I'll actually, tell you that much. I know a lot about notes. I really love sandalwood for men. I, really, I honestly even love it for women too. Mine's always the citrus go-to for me. So for this month, I received Mare. This one. This is the one that I had tried on, you guys. This one's so bomb. Then I also received Hermetica. What I love about Sunbird is I have a huge perfume collection. I'm obsessed with perfumes. And Sandbird has expanded my taste in perfumes. If it wasn't for Sandbird, I wouldn't have the collection that I have right now. Another big thing about Sandbird is the options they have. Over 600 different brands, you, you, you name it, they have it. From high-end brands to low-end brands, they have every type of scent. It's always good before you make that big purchase, obviously, to get a generous sample amount and try it out before you go and, you know, dip in a little bit to your bank account. This one, you guys, it smells so good. And you guys, sometimes I mix and match. Like, I literally, I'm a everything type of girl. Like, I'll mix a masculine scent with the unisex or even a girly scent. So, it all looks fun. Yeah, this girl in perfume is crazy. And Semberg gives her that option just to mess around and play around and make Thanks. her own fragrances with all the fragrances that they have. So, yeah. it's pretty cool for her to, you know, discover new scents. If you guys are interested in signing up for your first month subscription, it'll only come out to a little over $7 using our discount code RMBFAM55. I'll list it right here. And you guys can also check the description down below for the link. It is available in the USA and Canada. I want to give a huge shout out to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much. Back to our Q&A. So this is going to be a truth or shot, but you guys, me and Rito don't have any like alcohol, but we do have... Beer, what's a michelada from Sol? I'm obsessed with these. I'm obsessed with these, so I always, um, so we'll just take sips if we don't want to. Not sips, like we'll make sure we make it worth, worth it and drink a lot of it. Well, we are drinking it just because it's refreshing, not even because. It tastes so good, guys. I'm I'm a big, big Glamato lover, so. Mm. You guys need to try these, not sponsored, but so refreshing. It's You're the fine. best. Michelada you guys can buy in because the other ones from like Bud Light and like the other brands. I Bud don't know. Light, Bud Light, I don't, I think they have some, but they're One nasty. of them, it's like Budweiser. I don't know. I tried all of them. This is the best one, so which these are kind of hard to find, but I know like my grocery store has them, but so I was going to make this video in Spanish, but because I want to like practice on my Spanish better, but I think it's cool if we do it in English, so. Me and Milo are doing a truth or shot. The last time we did a truth or shot was actually in Spanish. Yeah, it was, it was tight though. It was, yeah. So. I don't know why we waited this long. I, those were hella fun actually. Yeah, so this time we're just going to do it in English for my people that do not understand Spanish. Okay, let's get started. Okay, what do you want? You want Dude, beer? This dog wants hella attention. You're begging for beer? No. Okay. So, how many girlfriends have you ever presented to your mom? Um, or girls? Like, girlfriends? Like, actual people? Um, like, three, two, three? 
like girlfriends. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Like, I don't know. What, what, I don't know. I've like, never heard of this before. So. Like three, um, but like girls, I don't know. She probably like sees like whoever I hung out with, but I really didn't bring anybody. Like, like how many girls did you bring over to your mom's house and stayed the night with you? And that, all? No, I can't do that. My mom would kill me. So how many did you present as your actual girlfriend? Like you. You are the only one that counts, so we'll just say one. No, you. then you need a drink because you're not doing the game right. Okay, um, three. So you presented three girls to your mom three. as your girlfriend? Yeah, but like I was under 18, do those count? No, you okay, were not under 18. Yeah, yeah, I was. For sure. ¿Cuántas veces te has miado en la peda? None. I've never peed while being drunk. I don't believe that. I've never in my life peed while being drunk, ever. Oh, okay. Never. Like, I've heard of stories of people doing that, but I swear to God, I've never peed while I've been drunk, like, ever. Well, there you go. I'm answering all of them, guys. I'm not going to okay. um, not do it. So that just, sounds good. Then. Throw it to me. Y'all broke up more than five times. Who? Me and you? Yeah. Um... I don't, we've never broken up for real. Like, ever. Right? Yeah. It would just be like, I'll get mad at them, you know, be like, then we shouldn't be together then. Yeah, Brittany will throw a tantrum and be like, where's, I'm single. I'm like, all right, okay, where are you going? Like, <laughs> but I swear to God, you guys, it, like, it's like on some joke type shit. I laugh. I call her mom and be like, well, she's single. <laughs> Let's go to Vegas. I even tell her mom, like, you want to come with me or what? But it'll just be for jokes, you guys. It's a thing like we've never broken up like Ramiro said. Never, we've never. I've had never. A um, we've never left the house and like for days. Yeah, you know? and me and Ramiro live together, so there's no. Uh, you can't be single. Like there's no way. Like we've. I've never. That's why I laugh when she says that bullshit. Okay. My turn. Well, I'm gonna just drink it. Your favorite sex position. I know which one. Um. I know. I like a lot of them, but I really like it, like, I like it from back. No, so. no, you don't. I know what you like. I'm going to expose you right now. What is it? Are you, wait, I'm talking about when, when me and you uh, are doing our own thing. I'm not talking about when it's just me. What the fuck? Oh, wow. <laughs> no, nice. you know what's the flip? Yeah, the flip. No, I'm not talking about that. Okay. It's me and you. That's TMI, guys. <laughs> I already knew that Vito was going to talk about that because that one is my favorite, but that's just <coughs> some other shit. Like. That's her quickie. <laughs> FYI. Oh, God. This is getting hot in here. Um, Let's see. What did you really think about Brit when you knew she had kids? Nothing. Everybody always tells me that. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you guys don't know. I'm, I've always been like a, like friends with kids like I've always like found it funny like them laughing at me all the time like, I'm always a jokester with them it's always really been easy. so good with kids and I, I can't wait to Brie has her next baby because oh my god everybody's gonna be so jealous and Ramiro's gonna make this other baby be so in love with him like well think about it you can't be like you could be an asshole to adults but like kids are fun like they don't know nothing they're hella innocent all they want to do is you know have fun you do anything to make them laugh any bullshit they see you do anything you do literally makes them laugh so it's hella easy i wasn't scared for them to meet him at all because i knew off the bat he was so good with kids i had already seen it prior like with him hanging out with the other kids and how he is with his car it's son. never been a, a thing where I, like damn like you know what she's pretty but she got kids no nah, it's never been like that people that think like that you're gonna be single their whole life like, it's, I'm, I'm taking advantage of Ramiro because he said he's gonna answer the question <laughs> What is your body count? You could do an estimate like from a range of 1 to 10, 10 to 20, Okay, 20 to uh, 1 to 100. 1 to 100, That's, that leaves like... No, that, you can't do that. Yes, I can. You just said give one. me an estimate. Like, that, the, within the 10s range. Like, Dude, I'm 30. I'm, I'm old. So? So, like, I'm old. Okay, like 10 to 20, 30 to 40. No, I'm 50. not doing that. I'll just do a wide range. Just leave a wide range. <laughs> you can't I answered that. it. Yes, I did. You said I'm going to answer every question on here. Okay, like, 
No, like one to a hundred. Is it at least like in the fifties and the forties? Dude, I don't know, babe. I don't keep track of this stuff, and I was well, little. Well, damn, how many girls no, have I you was, slept with? Dude, I was little. I was little, like I was a little kid. Do you think like forties, thirties? More than forty. I'm sorry. So let's like just 50, leave it like that. No, 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 just leave it there. Just, just that. Leave it at forty. Okay. But like, guys, like, uh, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Uh, I was. Like young. I've never asked him another question young, because dumb. I just feel like it's them. I'm not the one to trip about body count because, like, you were before me, so. Good, perfectly. There's nothing to trip about. We're not even doing the truth or shot. We're actually just answering. This is down near Q and A, but a little bit spicy. No, I can't answer that. They're asking me questions. You you could even um switch it on me like you know what I mean. Okay, I have a question for you. Can we do questions or no? No, no. that's the truth or shot. It's well, a, it's a question. Oh, truth or shot is a question. You answer the question. If not, you take a shot. Okay, what's your biggest ick about me? I want to I want to rebuttal this thing though. I want you to ask me that same question. Okay, too. I would I would say is when I ask you to do something, it takes you. Days, weeks to get something done. Damn. That's my biggest thing. I want to say. I was I was gonna say the same thing to you, buddy. <laughs> well, I guess we both got the same thing. I guess we had, we're both the same people then, because. But. Well, it's never when you're hungry. Am I not quick about that? All right, guys. Yeah. When it comes to food, like everything will lay off. I don't know. I feel like everybody's like that in their house, though. So. Like, the house projects, they leave them behind, but you go to work and they're kicking ass all day. Okay, um... <laughs> what the heck? What? People are so crazy. Is it true Brit can finish a Don Julio bottle in one night? <laughs> that is true. That fuck is no. true. By I'm myself? Just you. No, fuck I was going to say, sounding like I'm Let me tell you guys it. this. She can only drink, like... Baby shots. Like, one-tenth of a shot. Like, it's so weird. Like, they'll be like, shots, and they'll pour, like, this much. It's like, I'm like, what? Like, how, when do you guys get drunk, then? They barely... They can barely drink. You give them three shots, they'll be faded. Yeah. So, you guys, don't let the cameras fool you, because I'm literally... I, I don't I don't call myself a lightweight, because I won't black out. But I'm pretty drunk. But it takes me forever to get drunk, because I take baby steps. That's a secret of lasting longer, guys. So if you're the type to black out everywhere you go. It's because you're not taking baby shots. So you're getting drunk super fast. You need to, like, baby Pace shots. yourself. Baby shots. And eventually you get super fucking drunk. Yeah, right? she'll do 10 baby shots and then, you know, mm -hmm. get it get a lit. So, Ramiro, is it true that before Brit, you liked real paisa girls? That's what the question said. It didn't come from my mouth. Um, Instagram. Like, from Mexico? No, it I It just I never says real paisa girls. Well, I mean, I never dated somebody from Mexico, so... Well, can I answer this question, you guys? For you? Yeah, I guess. Okay, so, before me, what I mean was with the Mexican girl. She, that was his longest relationship. She was Mexican. But, in between their relationship, they would break up and Ramiro would get in other relationships, right? And... I don't know. Ramiro I don't dated, um, like, we always talked about, oh, like, who is it? Or, not who necessarily was it, exactly, but, like, oh, like, what, what, who is she? Or, like, you know? And Ramiro you know, dated, like, white girls. Nothing wrong with that or anything, because I'm literally all for, like, uh, what is it? I don't, I don't, I don't think I, uh, International like... people, every, anybody, any race, and it doesn't matter. But to answer the question, Ramiro you know, dated white girls and Asian girls. I don't think dated, like, I don't think I dated them. You said that you weren't well, in a relationship? Well, no, I wasn't. I w you guys, let me know to me, he was in a relationship for one year with the white girl. No, I didn't, we didn't know. We didn't We didn't say anything. We just went out a couple times. A but lot that of times. came out of your mouth. you like, I went out with her for one year. It wasn't. A, yeah, I don't know. That was a long time ago. Dude, this was fucking hella long ago. But, hey. Whatever. So, you guys, and when I met him, you know, like, he wasn't, like, hella bicep, as you can say. What? No, you were. Obviously, he would go to Mexico and all that. But when I got with him, he was listening to country music, which he still does. Nothing wrong with that. I love country music, too. But, like, I didn't get the Ramiro that I have right now. Like, I didn't get that one. Like, it was more like the way he talks was way more like... It was like... It was not how he talks right now. It was so much more different. Well, but, like, yeah, I got the real him. 
I don't know. I think he was more into this Americanized, like... I worked in, like, damn near corporate America. So, like, I have to act a certain way. I can't so be even, acting... You guys, even the way he dressed was nothing like how he dresses right now. Like, I, like, literally when I did it him. You guys, so that's to answer your guys' question. I mean, all did date, like, white girls and Asian girls. So they were not all Mexican. Like, none of, like a lot of them were not Mexican. Right? Yeah, no, I don't discriminate. It, it can be anything. As long as you're cool, you know? I'm trying Brittany to could, think Brittany if Brittany could have been it. any other race and I would have been alright all if she was this cool. So that shit don't matter to me. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I ever dated outside of my race. I, mean, I did talk to this guy that was half black and half white. But we never kissed or held hands or anything like that. And an Asian guy too, but we never did anything either. It was like, anything like that. Wow. Congratulations. I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with that. Nobody trying to hear that shit. They want to hear my story. No. And you owe me a beer. You tell the kids to get some. What? Oh, damn, I read that wrong. Is it true that you're closer to your dad, Ruben, um, than more than your brother and your sister? Um, I think we are. I think so. No, I think so. I definitely think so. Well, I think Brittany we... is a daddy's girl. I think we all have our own personal relationship that we know of. Like, of our own, only we know. Like, me and Bree and Ruben. But I do always check in on my dad. I'm always calling him. I'm always on FaceTime with him. Like, for hours. Like, And with my dad, you guys know my dad. He's like, he always gets into trouble. But I'm always like having my dad's like I always have the benefit of the doubt with my dad and try to help him in certain situations, which we 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 all do, Ruben and Bree do too. But I don't know. I I have like a soft spot for my dad only because his parents. Not that it's it's an excuse or anything, but his parents passed away. Both of them, which my grandma and grandpa passed when he was like nineteen or eight, nineteen years old. So I'm always like, dad, I'm like, my dad never had like a father or mother figure in his life to teach him like the way of life, you know, like they, they died so soon. And so I'm always like, oh my God, like I, I don't, I wouldn't know how to be like without my parents, you know, like guiding him. So I feel like it kind of just made him give up on life and stuff. So I'm always like trying to help my dad, like guide him through life, even though I shouldn't, he's a grown man, which I'm so proud of my dad, you guys, he's so good now, like, you know. He's changed his life. Um, I know sometimes he there's TikToks and stuff here and there with, about him, but for the most part, he's good. We do have a really close relationship, even though we don't live together, because my dad lived with me, you guys. So I think that's why we connected more. And also, this is a whole other story time, but when I was six, when I was 16 and pregnant, my mom kicked me out. She sent me on a train to Fresno to live with my dad. And so I had to live with my dad for like a month. And then his baby mama kicked me and my dad out. So me and my dad had to go on our own. We didn't have nowhere to live. So it was just such a crazy experience. That's another one of the story time. Is Ram ever embarrassed when you speak incorrectly or do not understand words? No, definitely not. No, I like that shit. Because she, she always looks over at me like, hey. I always go like that. Like, like, did I say it right? Like, stuff like that. I like that. Because, you know, she's trying to correct it. And sometimes I don't know the damn words I get. People be thinking I'm an encyclopedia. I'm not. Do you guys come every time? Be for real. I do. Shit. I do. And Miss Princess over here needs it too, so. But there's some times where I tell you, babe, it's okay. You you could just do your thing today. Like, you could be the only one. I don't have to because sometimes I'm like I'll be one for bloated one. or like... Like, I just have too much gas in my stomach, and it hurts sometimes, so I'm Whoa. like... <laughs> what you got in your stomach? Like, I'm gassy. You gonna fart on me? <laughs> Maybe. You did. Tell them the truth. Yesterday, she was letting them loose. Babe, shut the fuck up. Dude, I swear. You're the one spreading me. Hey, I did it on purpose. I wanted spreading to clear... Spreading my butt on purpose. I, wanted to, clear, I wanted to clear your um. And it happened, stomach. and I was so mad. I'm like, why would you do that? What the fuck? He's like, I'm helping you. I'm like... You guys, we damn near are not doing the truth of show because we're answering literally every single freaking question. Has he eaten that big ass? Duh! That's for me to answer! 
Oh. You're answering my questions. Oh, my bad. Well, I'm just letting them know that's what I do around here, buddy. So my beard's been growing lately, guys. Beep, stop, for real. Anyways, um... I what? don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> you tell them yes, and I mean it eats my ass. I'm just kidding. Right? Yeah, I guess. Uh, let me know. Is Brit the baddest bitch you've ever been with? No, I, I just I, needed you know, to hear this. It's I just... dated Jennifer Lopez before. Duh, you fucking what? What? That's crazy. Of course. Okay. What do you guys think I've been with? I needed to hear that loud and proud. Loud and proud. Okay. Have you ever gone through the middle's phone without telling him? Um, you have, remember that one time when the, you went to the bathroom and then you're like, all of a sudden I pretended I was asleep. It was so funny. I, 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 she was like a little drunk or something. This was like when we first got together, it was funny. And I said, uh, I'm like, where's my phone? Once you came to the bed and you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I so um, it. a long time ago, I did go through the middle phone without telling him not to necessarily find anything, but it was just there. And I was like, Oh, like, let me see. Well, what did you find? You should tell him nothing. Well, I didn't find anything, but what I what I did do is I went through the emails and I found Ramiro's ex's pictures on there from years ago, like when they were together, I deleted all of them without telling him. Oh, way to hurt my feelings there, buddy. <laughs> no, that. This is the first time I actually tell him. I don't care about that. What? I didn't even know I had that. It was like old emails, like old emails. But that the shit had to be there. from like 2012 or some shit. Yeah, it was for sure like 2012. So I deleted them, but yeah. But that was like a long, a long, a long, long time ago. Dang, like you never told me this shit? Nope. Barely right now. Okay, here. Sorry. I drink an energy drink, which I don't drink energy. And, it's, and I'm, I feel so jittery. Like, I don't know. I feel like I kind of don't feel good. Like. This is why I don't drink energy drinks. And I only had like this much. It was at Alani went with by Kim K. <sighs> it's making me feel weird. Okay. Or have is it you, the questions? <clears throat> have you ever thought about leaving me? No. You sure? Like, like, like serious leaving you? No. So like fake leaving me or what? Yeah. <laughs> How does that? What does that do? I swear to God, mom, I'm leaving. <laughs> or what? Huh? No, like I've never. I, I, if anything, I'm always like, oh my god, I'm never gonna find anybody that like just does what Amiro does for me or like deals with me and like. Hey, you never tell me this shit. You need to start telling me this I don't when like the camera's to tell off, buddy. Stuff because this shit'll make my head explode. Because then it's gonna get to your head, and you're gonna be like, why am I doing this stuff, or why do I? No, do I do that stuff because I love you. Everything I do is because I love you. But I feel like Amiro's the only one that will make me ever feel this comfortable with somebody. Like myself, like I can act like a fool, a dork, a goofball. Huh? Yeah, I'm a little goofball. I love you. Okay. So what? Dame tu. Okay, let's see. Give me one. Would y'all have a threesome with a woman or a man? If it had to be like, um, okay. I'll let you do it if we have a dude. No, never again in my life. So no, the answer is no. Well, well, then you would be down for a threesome with the girl. Hell no, that's just how the work. I can barely handle you. What, what? Two girls? What am I gonna do? One's gonna be disappointed. Think about it. It's not. It's yeah, not... and that sure it wouldn't be me. Either. Exactly. So like, what's the point of having two girls? I can barely handle one. What am I gonna do with two girls? No, I I would never be down for a threesome, guys, ever. My turn. What? It's my turn, no? Oh, yeah. You just want to take over the... I just want to have, like, get information out of Ramiro so bad. I'm literally taking advantage. By the way, guys, I have my glasses on because I obviously can't see. But, like, to read the questions and stuff, like, I can see better. More clear. Yeah, I'm finding that y'all see I didn't really answer that much. I already went all the way to the bottom. You did? Yeah. Who's your celebrity crush? Like right now, right now? Yeah. Um, 
Like, does it have to be a guy? I don't know. Do you like girls? I have, I have celebrity girl crushes. All right, well, sure. good. let's go with the girls. Um, I don't know. I have a lot. Actually, I can't even answer this question. Oh, I can answer it for Kim K. Oh, I've always been obsessed with Kim K, but no, I love her, but... Okay, well, who took your virginity? Like, do you know her? Or was it something fast? Was she your, was she your friend? I'm not answering that. I'm not answering that. That shit's hella old. I was 13, guys. 13. That's okay. That's exactly. That was a long time ago. Mm. But, like, do you know her? Do you still keep in contact with her? Hell no. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I'm 31. This is, like, fucking almost 20 years ago. But, like, where is she now? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? It, it isn't somebody that I knew. It isn't nobody. It was like, like a random person. You just hit it and then that's it? They hit it probably. Who knows? That was, I don't know. What was the she hell. your age? Uh, was, she was 15. 15. And so you were 13? About to be 14. Like, literally like that month. And then did you guys continue talking or no? Hell no. You got scared. So then after you hit it, that was it? You never Never again. You never tried again? Not with her, no. Okay. Good to know. We're getting to know each other, guys. Oh, yeah. It's just fun and games. Until this camera turns off and she kills me. <laughs> they hit me with it. Okay. Have you ever cheated on a significant other? Not including each other. Um... Yeah, when I was like 16, 17. Yeah, definitely. Yep, one time, guys. Like, like this. Yeah, no, you don't tell me that way. Like, like, like that one time. That's major cheating. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the type that happened. Because everybody has a different opinion what cheating is, so. Yeah, that's definitely like deep, deeply cheating. But I'm old now, guys. Not the not the things you should be doing. No. Very, very immature. Very Especially with a pretty girl like this. Every lot already knows what will happen. I don't need to be told what happens. I always say it only takes one fuck up. I'm that ju I'm a judge Judy bitch. You only get one ch you don't even get one chance. You Messed up once and it's a done deal with me. What's a dark secret you must admit? I don't, I don't think I have one. You sure? Actually, I do. So, um... <laughs> okay. So, so when I, when I was telling you that I had, um... When I, um, so this is something that I never told me about, but that time I remember I told you that I had a three phone one time ago. Yeah. So I went through Ramino's blocked list and it took a bunch of random numbers, of course. So I got the numbers and I would put it on my cash app to see the girl, the girl's um, name. And it was like a bunch of girls. Well, I told you I cut everybody off when I started talking to you, so yeah, that. So. You guys, you guys ever see a, a random number? Just put it on your cash app, that number, and their name will Guys, pop I up. told Brittany when I started talking to her that I cut off every girl I was talking to, so I blocked, I literally blocked, like, hella people from my phone. Like, I, I really blocked hella people. Yeah, so I thought that was really funny. Well, that's, that's fine. Damn, you guys but are crazy. <laughs> You guys are nuts. Dude, no, it wasn't even. I, I That's swear like to God. That's like that shit to, uh, I didn't know about this cash app thing. But I swear to God, you guys, it was never to try to find anything. My heart wasn't even pounding or anything because I already knew that Amido wouldn't do anything like that with Then why me. would you look it for it then? Because I had never done that to you. Like, like through your stuff. Oh, you got to do it one time? For the one so time? I was like, let me just see out of cur curiosity. So, yeah. So I think this is the last question, you guys, because we, we kind of ran out of questions. Like, we don't really have any questions. You guys got to hit us with some good, good questions. 
Um, I think I asked my middle all the juicy questions. I think I did my job really good for this video and I asked him all the juicy questions. Let's see. Okay, who is the last person you looked up on Instagram? Show us. <coughs> Show me right now. That does not count. Everything's deleted. No, this isn't. This is my business phone. Oh, Hold okay. On. Go on your real account then. It is tiny homes shit. <laughs> and then who's second? And then it's me. Show them. Here, guys, look. This is Ramiro's freaking search list. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, so... That... Well, show, show yours. Okay, let me see. This is fun. I took... My first one is Hollywood and Locke, Krishan. Um, Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish, my friend from SAC. My friend from here, Ramiro. Bunch of, like, influencer friends, Yuko. That's it. Wow. Yep. But, okay, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little fun, I guess we're going to say Q&A. Me and Amir Amir drank a beer, and he even ended up drinking mine. But we didn't even have to, like, we literally answered. Our goal was to try to answer every question possible. I think we answered everything, right? Yeah. That's the whole thing. Is we don't like to even when it's a truth or shot. I don't even take the shot. I just say answer whatever. Yeah, you we're just gonna answer the question. That's so. better. I always find it to be better just to say anything. I hope that this answered all of you guys' juicy questions that you guys have, even the freaky ones. I feel like I'm not really embarrassed of like our sexuality and like how we are because we're all adults. We're grown, and it's not something. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Yep. So. Yep. Well, Ramiro is actually going to be doing a podcast. He's actually going to be on his way after this. So we try to like kind of speed it up too. So he's not late to that. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. That one's going to be juicy. So make sure you guys check it out. All right, bye guys. Love you. Okay, so it's a wrap, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our little truth or shot. Which I do not want you guys to miss out on this opportunity with Sandbird. Make sure you guys use my code RMBFAM55 to get 55% off your first month with Sandbird. I will be listing it down below in my description. So make sure you guys check it out. And thank you again, Sandbird, for sponsoring today's video.